Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. We've broken in the month of December. We are close to oh 9,000, and that includes lows and highs. I mean, Jim, this is just... Yeah, that's insane. And when you compare it to the cold records, you know, it just does not look like December. It doesn't feel like December outside for a lot of us, unless you're in the northern tier back into the west, and that's where the cold air and the snow is locked for now. Temperatures this morning stepping out the door. I mean, you're in the 60s and 70s across the southeast back into Texas. We will see a little bit of waffling of temperatures right in that middle zone, perhaps Wichita, Kansas. You're going to be going back and forth between the cold and the warm for the next couple of days. Wednesday, though, we're going to break records today, but Wednesday is going to be another day where we're going to be in the 80s, uh, 70s for you in Memphis, uh, Beaumont, Texas, all the way up to 80 degrees, Montgomery, Alabama. We will continue to break record after record, just adding to that count we just showed you for the month of December as we turn the calendar page to 2022. I think that's when we'll see a change, and we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, but right now, we're going to see temperatures in the afternoon, 15 to 25 degrees above average. That continues through the middle part of the week. This is what I'm talking about for you in Kansas though, you're kind of in that in-between zone from Wichita up to Kansas City where it's going to be cold, warm, back and forth. Uh, tomorrow we will see another day in the 70s and then, yes, the later part of the week, once again, as we're watching the severe weather threat, we're going to continue to watch the warm records just fall left and right. But here we go, Jordan, as we get into the new year, the first week of January, we just see those temperatures drop like a rock. I love them. All the day after Christmas, and then, of course, the cold it coming in. Away, right? it's, it's unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, thanks, Jim. That's going to cause some problems with the travel in the Pacific Northwest. You know that. And that's when we're seeing some not only delays, but cancellations today starting to stack up. It includes Los Angeles, uh, O'Hare, where we're likely to see snow here in the next couple of hours. We're still good right now. If you have an early morning flight, you're going to be good. But as we get into the afternoon, that's when the delays start to stack up. And a lot of those, thanks to the weather, you can kind of see and pick out out those trouble spots including Cleveland, uh, Chicago, Minneapolis, St. Paul with the snow falling and the cold air coming in and Kansas City where we're likely to see some rain and even a few thunderstorms. Problems out on the road that's going to be for the northern tier up into the Great Lakes area down to Chicago where we're going to have that just nasty slush on the roadways and then behind that Jordan the cold and that's a whole other factor to all of this. <laughs>